so I talked about some of the things in the master my report. Um, you know, how to use, right? You know, we went through and he had this, you know, economic indicator was released. And then next month, right, day by day, the trading economic indi indicator, this is what we want to be talking about inside the mastermind. We want to be talking about some of the information that, that we're all sharing uh, about what it is. Like when guys say, oh, man, it's going down or it's going up. It's like, what is they basing it on? Right. I want everybody inside the mastermind to be able to explain the analysis part of it because it makes everybody better. Right. If if we're just giving our opinions, oh, I think it'll hit this and go back down. It's like, you know, that's good for day trading in in a, in a day, but like what's the long term trend? Right. And of course, we think the trend is is down, trending down. But when do we expect it to change? Why? Right? Well, because historically in October. You know, Bitcoin, other things, they, they've changed. But even if I wanted to, you know, test Bitcoin here, right, you don't have to do a lot of the a lot of the uh, analysis because, you know, some of it is done. And this is not a good a record because I think this is, um, you know, based on the stock market. It's not based on the, um, all right, but I mean, it, the 21st of October and the 20th, we always seen a lot of volatility in Bitcoin, right? So even when you see these dramatic dips, if you go look back in history on October 20th to 21st, the last three or four years, if you go in our Facebook group, you know, or, you know, look through the Discord, you'll see that we've had a volatility. Some people have caught big runs and some people have gotten into them. But then that's a day that you highlight on your calendar, knowing that, hey, the 21st, 20th, you know, expect some volatility. It's going to be in the mastermind report as well. So if I had this instrument here and I go, hey, you know what? Just give me October, September, November. Apply that. They saying that, you know, profit, you know, 15th to the 17th. You know, you can you can pick out a couple of days and say, you know, this probably be the opportune time to trade it 15th to 17th. Now you can identify, you know, one trade that historically has for the last five years seven years, you've gotten an increase. So now, you know, I got two days. Uh, that's not, I mean, my bad, that's, that's, that's the entire year. Hold on. All right, my bad. There we go. <laughs> All right. So this 18th, the 17th, if you're in Bitcoin, which one is this, right? 17th, could have took a short and it would have played out. Right, short uh, on a swing, and you could have cashed out this day or this day, you know, or this day or the twenty first, right? Yeah, no, it's still it's showing the entire year right there. I'm looking at I'm looking at it right here as well. Yeah, I don't know, it's it's not uh um, going here, but I'm just yeah, I'm I'm going off the cup of my head, um, uh, you know, trying to show the the charts. Um, and you'll see kind of the, the dip down here, and then it says on the, on the 22nd, right, you have a little pump up. And it may be a reversal trade, but if you anticipated the market to be down and you're trying to buy the dip today, you know, well, shit, you got a pretty good dip. And it's saying hold for a day or two. And, you know, will the price of Bitcoin go up in a day or two? And it's down here. You know, it has a pretty high probability. Of taking a little small up, so the risk of getting the trade and hold it right here, um, you know, it's a higher probability trade. That even if we took the trade right here and we wanted to just hold for 24 to 48 hours, what's the chance of it having a a small bounce? You know, not not a, not a huge increase, but just giving you a green trade. It's probably pretty high, right? If, if we're able to kind of get the lows and we see it. And I'm saying, that, hey, we wait. We start waiting for on an hour. You start seeing a couple of green. You know, you're going into this section here, but this should be able to get you a low expectation, positive trade, right? If you said I'm gonna get this trade for eight hours, and you know, I think at some point I might have a candlestick up in here, and then I'll get out, right? Just to get a green trade. These are the type of things that help you stay in a trade longer, where you're not just doing it on ten minutes. 
right? Try to time this in 10 minutes and be in and out. You know, it's a little, little bit easier when you have two two hours or a day. But you say, hey, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait, you know, one day or two and see where I'm at. And then at any green, I'm gonna get out because I just want to get a profitable trade. Because I know if I can get six months of positive trading history, I pretty much, you know, have a backup plan. I got six months of, of great history of great trading. Right. So I'm just trying to get you to refigure how you look at the market or how you look at trading, you know, of just trying to accomplish the green trades and give yourself some time. You know, that's one of the things that, you know, I used to say that if you are wrong in trading, sometimes you don't lose money, you lose time, right? Maybe you're going to be in a trade for a day or two before it goes back up. As long as you're not using leverage, we're we getting stopped out. All right, cool. So we got uh, got questions or anything in the chat, you guys out? Because I know, you know, we, we kind of do similar things on Wednesday, but since I had the whole hour and a half too, I wanted, I wanted to do some training. I got one person says yes. So I guess I can be, I, can, I guess I can be done. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's beneficial. It's beneficial. <laughs> I'm quiet because I was sitting in the restaurant eating, listening to All you. Right. That's why I'm quiet. <laughs> Yeah, we're just listening, bro. It's, it's, I'm yeah, sucking right. it all Ooh, up, man. man. Yeah, we're here. I mean, we're I, don't, here, bro. I don't get to teach that often, so I'm like, man, everybody <laughs> quiet. Like, I'm always yeah, get off on got, hours. You, you got know, our bro. attention, bro. All right. All right, cool. So, all right, always beneficial.